Hey guys, what's up? It's Megan here. So, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got at Ulta today. Disclaimer, I am not trying to brag, show off, or anything. Everything that I bought today came from my own money. Um, so, I've never, like, been in an Ulta or, like, a Sephora type thing. It's more, I shop online or my good drugstore products I get from, obviously, Walmart, Target, Shopco, all of that fun stuff. So, I'm really excited because it was a fun experience for me and I've never, like, went to something like that. So, I just want to show you guys what I got. <laughs> appreciate the sunburn I got. Oh, it hurts. Let's get right into it. So first I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I know it's not new but I've always wanted to get it and this is what it looks like and the back has all of the shades. Sorry about the glare and open it. And I am so excited to play around with this. I was gonna get the Too Faced Peach one, but when I was swatching between this one and the Too Faced Peach one, like the peach one seemed like really chalky and dull. And then I asked my friend, I'm like, should I get this one or the Too Faced one? She's like, this one. So it's in my hands now. Next thing I got is the Revolution Strobe Highlighter. I've seen so many beauty gurus rave about this. And I might... Oh, hey. <laughs> There's tape on it, Megan. Um, I might... When I go back, I think I'm going to get more of like a pink color instead of a gold one. This one is called Gold Attic. And I am definitely having a hard time opening it. <sighs> We're going to be here a while. So a little update. I got the tape off. I just can't open it. <laughs> this, what type of sorcery is this? Like, <laughs> I can't open my damn highlighter. Okay? That's just sad. How can I not open this? So, I give up opening this one and have my boyfriend do it later. But this is what it looks like, the strobe highlighter. And then next, I got the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Yes, I know this is, this is a drugstore, but I only had... A limited amount to spend and I was trying to get as much as possible with my budget but I got this so I'm excited to try this out next every beauty guru has this and now I know I'm not one probably never gonna be but now I finally got the shape tape concealer in the shade light I've been wanting this like ever since it came out I so glad and happy to get it and then this is what it looks like I'm so excited to finally try it out ah, I'm dying okay so anyways next I got the Smashbox try it on kit um now everyone who watches my channel and videos you guys know you guys know that I die for this right here. This is my holy grail. I could not live without it. So I was going to just get the full size of this, but it was like $21. But then I seen this for $24. I'm like, well, these last me a while because I have like different primers. And it comes with, I drop the box. Anyways, like, it comes with a bunch of other stuff to try out, and 
they're bestsellers, so of course they're gonna be good. And I know everyone's different, and it doesn't hurt to try new products. So I'm like, I'm saving a lot more money, and I can get more if I get this. So this comes with the primer. Love this stuff. Highly recommend it. Next is the Full Exposure Mascara. And then the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And then a full size of the Smashbox Always Sharp. Yeah, twist it. I'm so glad this is not liquid. Oh, that's really funny. Is because I just ran out of, um, how do you get this back on? Well, I, so anyways, I like just ran out of eyeliner. Like I have my Rimmel ones. I feel like I'm going to destroy this. How the frick do you put this back on? Sorry, I'm getting so sidetracked. No, but I have my Rimmel one, but, like, I feel like it's just too sparkly underneath the eyes, and it, like, how? How? How does this even, whatever. Back to what I was saying, because I was fighting with my eyeliner. So I have my Rimmel one, but it just, it's not good for summertime. I used up all my Tarte one. Should have got that today too, but I seen this, so I didn't. And it just runs, and it's super sparkly underneath the eye. So last thing that came in was this cute little lipstick in the shade Prime Rose. And this is what it looks like. And I don't, like, really wear lipsticks that much anymore, but, like, I don't know. I need to start, though. I have too many to waste. And then I got free stuff, because who don't love free makeup? So this one is a Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. And this is what it looks like. And then I got a cute little benefit thing. And it is an adorable bag. That is so cute. Ugh, I love makeup. I have a problem. Probably gonna do a Walgreens haul, so if you guys want that video, comment down below. So it comes with three products. It is the Benefit Highlighter in the pink, which I actually have a full size, but it's so cute and tiny. That's so adorable. And then it comes with a Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I probably shouldn't open that. I'm going to dry it out real fast. Oh, that's what it looks like. And then, something I've always wanted to try. <laughs> it's so tiny and cute and I don't know if I want to now. But the Pore Fusion Pore Primer. It is so tiny, guys. Like, if it's like little baby makeup is what it is. It's just like little baby makeup. Can you see? It's so cute. But, oh, it's so cute. I don't even want to use it. Nope. So, that is it for this video. I'm so sorry for my weirdness. It just makes me so happy because, like, I don't get that much of a chance to get high brand makeup because, obviously, bills are more important. Putting food and our stomach is more important having a roof over our head is more important so i really hope you guys enjoy this like subscribe tell your friends to subscribe honestly like i enjoy doing these types of videos if you guys have any video ideas let me know and i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'm gonna go play around with my makeup and see if my boyfriend can open this because i really want to swatch it <sighs> have a great day guys